Well, hello, everybody. Good evening, everybody. Hopefully, you're not too dizzy yet. I'm a little bit dizzy. Well, we're talking about uh, perspective tonight. We're talking about your vantage point. We're talking about the way that you look at things. And guys, you know, my name is uh, Jeff Street. I teach people how to make money from home online. And tonight, I want to talk to you about your vantage point. You know, sometimes things are happening and the way that we see things are actually different than what they really are. You know, and I want to just share with you a quick little leadership story of, you know, kind of a funny story that happened to me years ago that just taught me so many different lessons, uh, so many different lessons in business and life. I remember I was in Philadelphia actually doing a big, big event, speaking at a big, big event uh, with a, a mentor of mine, Mr. Tony Kupis. And I was so excited that I was there actually doing a tour uh, with Mr. Kupis, uh, doing events. And it was such an honor for me to actually be the first speaker at the event, uh, opened up the event for him and, you know, stayed at that hotel that night in Philadelphia. And I felt great about myself. But then in the morning, it was just one of those mornings where kind of, you know, kind of got off to a bad start. Didn't feel exactly like myself when I got out of bed. How many have ever kind of felt like that sometimes, right? Sometimes you get up and you just feel a little bit off. And uh, I was in uh, Philadelphia at the time. I actually had a lunch appointment in South Jersey. And then I was speaking at a leadership event that night, actually in Warwick, Rhode Island. And I'll never forget, I was, you know, in a rush. You know, I had to check out. I had to get to this appointment for lunch. I, you know, woke up late. I was running late. I was carrying all my stuff, my suit bag, my luggage and everything. And there I am at the hotel, just hitting the down arrow on the elevator, waiting for the elevator to, you know, to open up. And anybody ever been waiting for an elevator and it just seems like it's taken forever? Well, let me tell you this. That day, it was taken forever. I'm talking about I was sitting there for over 10 minutes. But the crazy thing was I'm staring at the two elevator doors and nothing's happening. But every once in a while, I would hear a ding. And it was almost like somehow the elevator is just passing my floor. And I'm sitting there for so long, carrying all this stuff, really starting to get upset. And all of a sudden, I was just like, you know, what? I got to put my stuff down. I walked down the other end of the hallway. I like, you know, I needed to calm down. I was starting to get really upset, right? And as I start walking towards the elevator, I heard that ding again. And here's what was amazing. It's probably been about 15, 20 minutes at this point. I'm all upset, like really, literally, literally mad about what's happening. But the whole time, every time I heard a ding, it, where I was standing with everything I could see, all I could see were those two elevator doors. But on the side, there was actually another door on the side at an angle I couldn't see from my particular vantage point where literally those 20 minutes that I was sitting there, that thing probably opened up 30 times. But from my perspective, I couldn't see it. And as soon as I realized what was happening, man, I felt like a fool. Man, I was just laughing at myself and I was like, you know what? Someday this will be a good story you know, to tell somebody. And, you know, I got to my lunch appointment and I did that. And then I'm driving, you know, to Warwick, Rhode Island from New Jersey to do a leadership event there uh, that particular, you know, evening. And all of a sudden I'm in Connecticut somewhere on 95 and traffic comes to a halt. Like completely, completely stopped to the point where literally I'm stuck in traffic for probably like two hours. And now at this point, I had before getting in the car for the drive, I got out of my dress clothes and I'm sitting there. I got a backwards hat on, a white t-shirt, a pair of uh, board shorts and some running sneakers. I'm sitting there sitting in traffic and the traffic literally does not move for two hours. And now I'm looking at people around me. People are punching the steering wheel. People are yelling. People are cursing. People are outside of the cars, flipping out, freaking out out of something that's completely outside of their control, having no idea what it actually is happening. But at this point, my perspective had been changed. My vantage point, the way I was looking at things was changed because I was just laughing at myself the whole day at that point based on what happened with the elevators. And I'm just thinking to myself, oh, here's here it's gonna go. I'm literally gonna not have time to change and I'm gonna end up walking in to go do this leadership talk in a backwards hat and a t-shirt. And as everybody else is getting mad, I'm just laughing. And I'm like, there's nothing I can actually do right now but just go out and enjoy the moment and gotta sometimes laugh at ourselves. So let me tell you this, sure enough, 
You know, I, I, I literally were stuck for hours. I went from getting there two hours early to actually getting there an hour late. So I got there an hour late and there I am. I walk in backwards hat, t-shirt, board shorts, running shoes, and I did my leadership training that night just exactly like the way it was. And you know what I talked about that night? I talked about that story of the elevator. And But what I talked about it, what I mentioned is sometimes you cannot see the vantage point. Sometimes you can only see things from a certain, certain point of view about what's going on in your life. But sometimes if you stand outside of what's happening, somebody else can see, the same, can see something completely different just because they have a different point of view. And that's why mentorship is so important. Because when you have a mentor, that mentor sometimes just sees something from a completely different point of view. They see something from a different vantage point. They see a world from different experiences. And sometimes that mentor can just give you that different way of looking at things that can go out and change everything for you. You know, that day with the elevator, just walking back and being, you know, 20 feet behind me allowed me to see something from a completely different point of view. So guys, hope that you got something out of this here tonight. You know, life's about your perspective. Life's about your vantage point. Life's about the way that you look at things. And some of us right now, we got to train our minds to start looking at some th at things differently. Sometimes people get real negative on just the littlest things. So what I'm going to share with you guys is be positive. Next time you're upset about something stupid, laugh at yourself. You know, next time you can't see something right, call somebody else, call a mentor, call somebody else that might be able to see what you're going through in life from a different perspective because one little piece of advice that they might be able to give you might be able to change everything for you. So if you got some kind of a value added tonight, hit the share button, you know, hit the share button tonight if you think that this is something that somebody else could get value from. Tag somebody in the video if you, if you think of somebody could really get something out of the message and, you know, just, uh, you know, drop a comment. You know, drop a comment, you know, in the comment section here tonight saying, you know, my, the, the way I look at things is everything. Or I'm going to work on the way I look at things or I got to change my perspective. But drop a comment tonight if you got something out of this. You know, again, my name is Jeff Street. I teach people how to make money from home online. Hope you got something out of tonight's talk. Hope this provi provided some value in your life. And God bless everybody. Have a wonderful rest of your night. And we'll see you guys tomorrow.